Today we're going to work on getting a little more ground clearance on the exhaust for the generator. I drag it just getting in and out of the yard. It's pretty, pretty unrealistic. I know that the, we have to worry about the heat on the belly pan. So I'll figure something out as far as a heat shield goes. Maybe I'll have to do something about this way these hokey fuel lines run for the generator or just rubber hoses and we are somewhat close to the exhaust pipe. They just hang down. That's after I tied them up a little and moved this clamp to pull them up higher. Well, my friend Mike with the mechanic shop did quite a number on the exhaust. Now I'm a little bit concerned even if I uh, if I don't wrap it, just a heat shield won't be enough so I'm gonna have to wrap that up. Got a little close up here too but by golly she's got ground clearance now. <laughs> Good job Mike. Before I wrapped the exhaust for the generator I forgot I was gonna drill a quarter inch, or I mean, sorry, eighth inch hole for a weep hole. I'll do that now. There it is. recycle these old license plates now with two dollar and fifty cents cent u-bolts and I lock washer and a nylock. I'm not going to tighten it, finish tight until I get all of the U-bolts in place and heat shields. Alright, there's my heat shields installed. Give it a run, and if we find we need one more right here, I'll just add it. Thanks for watching. Finally settled on a piece of galvanized stove pipe I had left over from a job two decades ago, and I just cut it out and put it under the tabs that hold the, the basement floor on and I use some sticky tape aluminum foil tape uh, might have went overboard with it put it around my sewer pipe holder too does a really good job now Thanks for watching.